So this is a day where Z and I go out chasing some big bluegills. Did not go to plan in a number of ways. Still had a fun day and there are some humorous moments as well. Doesn't seem too bad. You're off. Apparently. Backlit as usual. Z is behind me getting his gear freaking ready. All right, everybody. Never fished this body of water before. I have three species opportunity today. I think the pretense is it's a bluegill day, but also a we'll take what we can get day. Wonderful, beautiful spring day. Multifarious and I came out to a lake in Iowa. I have got to put my sun protection up because I will get burnt. We drove through the sunrise. We didn't get here for sunrise. So our water temp back here is 64. Pretty shallow. I'm very limited in what I have to offer the largemouth today. Again, came little guy. Come off. All right, let's get serious. Let's get out of here. Big matted vegetation. Some lily pads, but the lily pads are inundated with spirogyrum, which is that filament algae that grows and mats up and floats to the surface. Look like it would be dynamite for a frog bite, but we might be early. The frogs are out, but the bass are spawn slash pre-spawn, so they may not be in it feeding on that stuff right now. It looks like the water might be kind of clear. Water quality is good. It's green, but it's clear. Yeah. Like you can see down a couple feet. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Hooked and lost a little, little guy. Little bass? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. I thought I saw some marks on my screen. Oh man, little rascals. How far down did you go when you got bit? The length of my rod, so about six feet down. I was just vertical jigging because I saw these marks kind of suspended, so I figured they would, they were crappie or something. I wanted to see if I could catch a pile. Oh man, I think they're just little something biting the tail. Yeah, they must not be big. Do you feel them? Yeah, oh yeah. This is, uh, oh, you probably can't see that with your glasses. Yeah, I can see it. That's what's like, see, there's just random stuff in the middle. Yeah. Like, there's stuff coming up. Are those, is that just weeds? Could be weeds, could be fish. They're going to be probably in six, four to eight feet of water. Not the ones we're after, Zach. First one? Not the right one. Not the right size, but the right species. You can see them all in the water. Yep. They're just not big ones. What happened? <laughs> At least get behind me so I can get it on camera if you fall in. I want to go find the big ones. I'm down. You know where that is? Where are you going, Zach? What? Where are you going? I was going to the bluegill spot. It's up here. not too big a little better though pretty You're, you must be right by the pile or something marking fish about 10 feet he's got to be crappie oh my oh my lanta did you get bit no i'm just seeing a ton of well there's nothing crazy here they're not going crazy nothing crazy so where are we heading now over here Yeah, the hard part's gonna be keeping yourself off the bank. That's why we have anchors. I feel like if we can hover like right here.
Not a bad little chunker. Not bad. Not a giant, but not bad. Good start. Lost a little dude, caught a couple small gills. Tried one outside weed edge, try one inside weed edge. There's some smoke on the horizon. Not on the water. There's a lot of very swift moving small fish down here. They're not moving like gills. Baby Z is, I can't tell if he's moving this way or away from me. I think he's moving away from me. He's somewhat silhouetted, so I can't quite see it, but he is moving away and he's moving, so that's not necessarily a sign of him catching a lot of fish. Not that I'm catching a lot of fish either. We're going to give it, as the guys from Braille Skateboarding would say, we're going to give it a wang danger. Or as that one guy from Seven Fish would say, we're going to give it a whirl. It's a nice weeded bank, decent gradual taper, main lake point. You'd think it would give up more than one. Guys, I brought really limited tackle with the idea that we were going to target something which is not currently cooperating. Doesn't mean they won't. Gotta find them. Little pad field here you think might be good. The Z was working it pretty good there and didn't see him take anything out of it and he didn't stay in there real long so could make it somewhat of a presumption that it was not particularly good to him. Finally an hour and 21 minutes in. Summer down and it's not a huge fish but it's a fish. Battery light is on. Bad news, it's time to trade out already. Good news. Right flavor, wrong size, wrong portion. Girly girl, gilly gill. Right on the meat edge. What do you got going on? A couple little ones. I'm Catching. Trying to stay on, stay on the outside here. You getting bass? Uh, two little ones. Like, little, little. Yeah, me too. I caught one nice one on the point. It wasn't big. It's sub two pounder. I keep getting fish biting right here. This one feels like a good one. Not good, but. Using the SOB. Custom jigs. You want to try somewhere else? This isn't doing much for me. Maybe there will be some fish on these rocks. Not impossible. That one guy's been on the dam for quite a while. That guy's motor over there didn't sound too good. No. What's that thing in the water? Looks like a stump. It does. It seems to be pretty far from the bank. How deep are you now? 17. Don't knock your transducer off. Marking any fish? I'm seeing some stuff. It looks like about halfway down. Crappy. He's 11 a quarter. I bet that's maybe what that guy's doing there. He's been on that point. You're out of ways. Or are you marking fish? I'm marking fish. I'm at the same distance that boat is. Feels better. It's not. It's a gill. Seven and seven eighths. That's all right. I could. I could set my anchor on the tree. I'm just not interested in doing that. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a better one. Big female. That's a big one. That's the one. Big girl. Largey. Another largey.
The wind is not nice. This line is not very nice. Did you find any more fish? Yeah. I caught some small gills right here. Caught another, or I had another bass up. I didn't catch him. Now this fish would have been three pounds if it wasn't so skinny. I also saw a bass on a bed. He's probably catchable if you wanted to catch a little bigger bass. Was it big? I mean, a pound and a half. A pound and a half? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they just aren't quite cooperating the way we want them to. That feels tiny. They're just not big. There's that fuel by Mountain Ops right now. That's a much smaller one. We walked our kayaks back around to the non-windy side, paddle back. Did manage to get a hold of another 9-inch gill. Not really how we had planned our day out. Not the plethora of big fish we were hoping for, but honestly, not a terrible day. We did catch fish throughout the day and just a lot of small fish. Thanks for watching. This is a picture of my wet bass. As you can see, I fell asleep.